Hello everyone and welcome to a new starting video. So these are the little stacks that we have for today. Um, we have TXT and everybody that's not TXT and this pile is actually a little bit bigger and this is everything that I've just accumulated through everything but a body package I guess. Um, so yeah it just it's a little bit much I think but yeah i also wanted to like go over like what's been going on concert wise recently because i feel like i haven't talked about anything since i saw txt in june so yeah um uh timestamps will be down here and i'll just get into it so first up we're gonna be in this collect book which i have i haven't really opened in a while and i definitely have downsized a lot since i've like last been in here but we're here today for this one red velvet card this is um an irene that i pulled in the um one of the poster versions i forgot the other version that's not the hotel's name but it's the, the the superior version i think um but yes for that i pulled irene and then i also pulled the photo book version um for that concept or i i bought it i didn't pull it what <laughs> and i pulled wendy and i really wanted solgi's card from that version because it's super super pretty and so i traded for that and when that comes in that'll go here so yes that was all for this but yes, Cosmic is so good. Um, better than Chill Kill, I think. In terms of the title track, I think the B-sides on Chill Kill are definitely better. But anyways. Okay, so for this binder, I just have a few Karina cards that I did in, um, all in one trade, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, let's get past Winter. I do have one more card on the way to like complete this little set. I don't think I'll actually finish Armageddon, but that'll be good enough for me, I think. Um, and I did go ahead and, like, reorganize this and stuff, and this should be in, like, order already, so I'm just gonna put them in. Um, at the beginning of June, I was actually supposed to see, um, P1 Harmony in concert, but Atlanta was, like, flooding or something. Some waterline breakage, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I didn't see them, which was really sad. I got my money back, but, like, I didn't want my money back. I wanted to see P1, which was really sad, but anyways, um... And then later that month, I did see Itzy, which was, like, really good. And, but also, I was really tired during the concert, and I have, like, no idea why. I had no reason to be tired. But, yeah, I also traded for this pop, which is really, really cute. And, yeah, it's gonna go right here by her S-mini because it matches. Yay. Okay. And then, lastly, we have these two from My World. Yay, and then there's nothing on the back there. Okay, so that was the little Karina segment for today. Um, Yeah, that was all for this binder. <laughs> okay, so now we have kind of a, like, maybe unexpected, I don't know, um, group who's actually moved up first in this binder, and that is AT's, because I saw them in concert um, a little over a week ago now, and their brain rot is so real. It's so bad. <laughs> um. But yeah, I did buy one version of Golden Hour, and these were my um, non-bias pulls, which um, we'll get to. We'll get to some more things in a bit. But um, I did buy the Walmart version of the album, which I was like really glad that they had um, one in stock because Walmart's like so hit or miss with everything. But yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, and I do have some more. Um more ATs photo across the store later so there's gonna be some like holes here i just bought one version of uh golden hour and these were my pulls i bought the superior blue hour version oh no um i have a song to put here so this will go here and Young's just gonna go by himself on the back yay okay so these are my extra ATs cards and we're not done. Okay, so I got a new binder for Luna, and it's very um, small. I think I had them in, like, a smaller binder last time, but this one's a D-ring. I just, like, can't stand having, um, like, O-ring binders. I don't know. I don't know. And I think that one was a little bit smaller. But anyways, Luna's not the only group in here because... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have nothing to say for myself other than... um, It was mostly because... Okay, ATs did two um atlanta days and i initially couldn't get tickets for the second day and i was really upset about it but i kept looking and then the day of the first concert them like Ticketmaster does its little thing where it'll like 
um, randomly have tickets pop up and they were like face value and I didn't buy them and I regret it so incredibly bad and it hurt my soul and so um, I've been buying photo cards instead so <laughs> I've kind of set up for like a little AT's collection from Outlaw onwards um, for my two biases who are Hongjun and so uh, Son. I almost said someone um so yeah, we can do like a little flip through I guess Um, I don't actually have any album photo cards for San, but yeah, I do have like a couple um, Hong Joon's here and there. And yeah, I have one singular card for this, which technically isn't a real like album card. And yeah, I don't have any like extra San, like UX, UX, blah, US exclusive. So um, yeah, this is just going to be like the middle of the golden hour page. And I do have some things on the way. Um, what? I don't really know. But mostly for Hongjun, because, like, Sana's, like, a little bit harder to find. And I don't know why I'm closing the Spinder, but that was it for ATs. Okay, so while I was in Atlanta for the ATs concert, I was gonna buy a, um, a set of, like, two albums for Strawberry Rush, because that album is so amazing and so cute and so fun. Um, but I couldn't find them. So I don't have any, like, normal album cards, but I was able to trade for these two from the, um, stagey version, I think it's called. Um... I don't know i've heard these aren't random so i guess they're like the guaranteed cards or something i don't know but this is gonna be my like strawberry rush page for now i'm definitely not gonna like solidly set up for this album but yeah if i can get any trades for cards that'd be nice because i definitely don't think i should be going out of my way to buy the album at this point um yeah that was all for two actually okay so i know i said i was gonna have a new and hyphen cover but i just have not gotten around to making the collage so sungun's still here and also this binder this binder is so thick. I didn't, I didn't realize. Um, but we have a lot of enhyping cards to store and all, all, that are also on the way. I'm actually complete with, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Romance Untold. I'm just waiting for my Bayou package to come in and this just fell out of there. Okay. Um, we'll complete it in the next storing photo cards video. But before we get into, um, enhyping, I wanted to say that Seventeen just announced their tour. I know this is very like off topic, I guess. Um, and I'm actually um gonna be trying to get tickets to um both of the uh New York shows, and because I learned my lesson from ATs, I'm like if a uh, artist or a K-pop group specifically is coming, um like doing two shows, I'm gonna try for both. So, so today is mostly gonna be like Weverse cards. Yeah, I don't think I actually have any photo books, but like, look at this. It's all done. <laughs> actually, I do have the other Target cards that I was missing. I, I don't know why they were out of order. So we have Sunnoons and Jungmoons. Wait, they were in order. I don't, because because everything's missing, I'm like just forgetting where everything goes. Um. But, yeah, I love Jungwon's target card. Um, okay, so first up we have the, um, the, I'm just gonna call it the white version, I guess, of the Weverse albums. And then, for this page, it's gonna be, like, the engines right here, and then the Weverse, the first one. And, I don't actually have Sunu or Jungwon on hand, they're on the way. And then I have the three Weverse, like, set cards to go at the top here. Also love this photo card. He's holding like three stuffed animals in his cards this era, I think. And then we have the like black, brown, <laughs> gray, I guess you could say, version. With this. Um, I decided not to go out of my way to get Sungun's target card just because it doesn't like fill out a page really. The backs look so nice. Oh, okay. Um, speaking of Sungun, we're moving on to his page now. So no photo book photo cards. But, um, this is not gonna be a five pattern. Um, I think I'm gonna do the engines at the top and bottom. And then... Just put this on this side and then this in the middle. And then his, like, gray one is on the way as well. So, there's that. And then I do have one extra Heesun card. And I've actually been getting a lot of Heesun offer- or trade offers recently. So, I'm doing pretty well. I can honestly, like, set back up for his collection some point soon maybe um but yes and then i have a couple extra cards as well so i have this weaver's j 
And then I have actually both of Nikki's Weaver's cards, which I don't know how I ended up with his set every era, but it's kind of nice, honestly. Yeah. Wow, I have a whole page of Nikki. And Jay. No. Well, technically, whatever. Anyways, so kind of lastly for this binder is the actual OT7 set um, that you get in the Weaver's album. So yeah, I actually am doing what I did last year and just putting an extra one on the back because I did buy like four of these. So I have room to do like a set on the front and back. So I'm just gonna speed this up actually. Okay, so here's what it looks like from the front and then from the back. Yeah, it took a lot of concentration to like figure out who goes on the back of who. So an unnecessary amount, I think. But anyways, lastly, we have the three Weavers, tar or not target cards, um, group cards. <laughs> so yeah, I have one for each concept. So it's just going to go in here. Usually I would appreciate it when they do like vertical um, group cards, but not now. <laughs> So nice, we have almost two full pages of group cards. And they don't really stay in these very well, but that's okay. So that was everything for in high pin today. So now finally we're gonna move on to TXT. Okay, so unfortunately I only have one binder to update today, and this is the like OT5 pops and non-album things. So we can go right to tomorrow. Because all of my OT5 group orders that I joined have come in, so we're just going to start storing everything, I guess. Um, yeah, first up we have Cacao Talk. Just going to go like a little, um, showing them, I guess. Um, uh, mostly I wanted it because of the Subin, and yeah. Which usually I wouldn't buy like OT5 sets and like the album concepts, but I don't know what I was doing. Anyways, so as we all know, Pulba 2 has been revealed announced has come out now and i think the pop-up has already happened um and i absolutely love all the characters so much um i don't know if i'll be able to like get anything from this first drop is because the timing is like really bad for me um but yeah i think taehyung's is definitely my favorite character okay next we have what is probably my favorite ot um five set from the era which is dear my muse round two zero from the like um Tinnitus dance break outfits. Especially this Bongyu. Yeah. Yeah. I had to get this OT5. E immediately. But yeah, I don't really... What else has happened in the take Seavers? Bongyu's blonde. <laughs> um, crazy. Um, I really think they're probably gearing up for another comeback. I'm pretty sure somebody says something about, like, yeah, they are. Um, which is why... I Bongyu and Yeonjin have dyed hair, but there's our first page. And then next up we have the, if I can pick them up, okay. The Olive Young set when their um, outfits from the uh, concept trailer. Yeah. The lighting on these is not great, honestly, but it's okay. I'm actually done with my um, tomorrow album cards. I'm just waiting for one more to come in. And that means I'm done with the kit cards as well, which it was a struggle. And I'll explain a little bit more, I guess, when I get those in. But yeah, next up we have Dear My Muse round three. Also a very cute set, I think. Especially this mom you once again. <laughs> I tried to put the um, sets together that had like the most similar vibes. I guess I tried. Um, but unfortunately for me, I did not think out about how many like group orders I was joining. And instead of joining an even number because I store these in a 10 pocket binder, I joined five. So I have an empty row here, which is probably going to be empty for a while. But yeah. Um, lastly, we have the like pop-up store cards. I really still want at least Bongyu's in the um in their like solo stage from the fan live, um because these are like fan live outfits. 
Um, uh, but that has disappeared off the face of the earth, basically. I've seen Yunjin's for sale. For expensive, but it's for sale. But everybody else not really. Maybe Kai's too, I feel like. Yeah, I really like this Subin and this Yunjin, especially. And this Kai. <laughs> I feel like I need more blue haired Kai cards. Um, but yeah, that was actually everything for this video. So here's a little flip through of what I just stored. Oh, I love this set. I love it. Um, yeah. So, oh, the vibes of these are so, like, kind of off, you know? I might play with this a little bit. But anyways, if these are in the thumbnail and they look different, i definitely change it. <laughs> um, yeah, that was everything I had to store. So thanks for watching and bye.